Hey everybody, Brian here for quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to reintroduce uh, those uh, that haven't seen this before and uh, the aftermath of learning uh, a lot of heavy duty math for the last probably a couple of months in terms of Khan Academy and just uh, general high level math in um, from Khan Academy applying the world of probability statistics, algebra, linear algebra, and all the different types of calculus out there. So right now what you're looking at is MATLAB 2014. Um, now this tool I'm going to show you um, basically I've not seen as sophisticated as any tool yet uh, in terms of uh, being able to bang out pure pure math algorithms and again these same algorithms and these same principles I'm sure you could probably apply to the world of uh, quant trading, quant research, and all that. So let me just show you, I'm gonna pull up this editor, uh, better known as MuPad, that I've been going on and on about. So the MuPad, um, you have like, pretty somewhat similar to Iron Python or IPython. And here, this is a MuPad language. I'm not gonna go into the full on capabilities of it. I got other, um, other uh, videos on it, and of course, just check out some of the webinars from Math MathWorks on this product on UPad. But the before and after, I didn't even know half of what these uh, notations meant, or a good chunk of them. So, no different than the uh, IPython, uh, you have the ability to insert, let's say, just general text, boom, whatever, and then be able to insert a um, an algorithm. Um, like a, some kind of calculation. So when you look at your calculations, here's all the different um, notations that you can get, the scientific notation um, that you can see typically in, uh, in uh, research papers. Uh, so you have your different transformations and so on and so forth. Uh, some pretty powerful stuff. And I'm starting to understand what they actually mean now, which is, I guess, good. Um, but uh, here, when you click on any of these, it, it will translate um, those into, into uh, the uh, appropriate uh, MuPad language. So I, I have no idea what I'm doing here, so I'm just gonna, I guess, play around with something. Um, let's say, I, I don't know. Um, let's just do something like, uh, let me just take this puppy out. Uh, 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 let me just reinsert another calculation here and just see what we happens here. So let's say I want to do a summation. Uh, let's say a uh, basic one like this. I think I needed to find a, a function of some kind. I wouldn't be surprised. So one to ten, let's say, or whatever it is. Let's see if I evaluate. Let's see what happens here. So did something. <laughs> this is not good, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, just watch <laughs> those webinars and videos. But let me just walk you through some of the uh, other notation. Uh, obviously, we got factorials here, um, uh, different uh, fraction, exponential, all that stuff here. Um, some other transformation stuff, uh, basic trigonometry stuff. You know, things like that. Um, I don't know. Let's say 45. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. <laughs> real, real. I'm, I'm a math genius. Look out, Einstein. <laughs> Exponential, logarithmic, uh, natural log. <laughs> hey, whoa, look at me saying natural log <laughs> versus regular log. Oh my god. I, these are your subset conditions. Uh, and more on and on it goes. Here's all your Greeks. Um, these are your measurements, I don't think I see myself using that. And of course we get into uh, matrices, so it's set up a, a 2 by a 4, 2 by 2. Um, and some of these other cool things is that you can just do a general uh, plot uh, here. And then you can do a 3D plot as well. Now, as I've mentioned before, you can uh, easily, we have a workflow that will translate this notation from UPAT, the language, into MATLAB so you can generate your own custom uh, custom and functions from this. 
again moving into the general math uh, uh, let's see what we got here okay we got expand factor all the basic uh, algebra stuff evaluate simplify um, all these different combinations uh, I guess if you want to do alternatives uh, solving um, ooh, here's all the exciting stuff for all the calculus uh, power series don't ask me on that um, if I'm an expert which I'm again I'm not uh, let's see what else we got matrices so um, again this is all linear algebra um, get your polynomials um, from algebra and of course we set our session. Let's see if that actually works. Oh, nope. And here, uh, I'm no expert here. But let's see what we can do. Reset our session. Woo -hoo. Wow. Something like that. <laughs> this is funny. Um, and then we got all our different types of plotting capabilities. Again, um, you can do that in 3D. So some very powerful uh, ways to um, to uh, apply our um, mathematical, uh, al you know, algebraic or mathematical equations uh, from this. Um, so this is definitely going to be, I guess you could say, a hotbed for me. But um, again, I have not seen anything like this in our Python, and even for the home edition of, uh, of uh, MATLAB, this may be worth its price, uh, which is part of the symbolic uh, math toolbox. Something to look into. All right, so hopefully uh, this. Uh, wows you. Oh, and also you can, of course, export this notebook into a report. Um, so that's no different than I would imagine you get with the IPython as well. Some really cool stuff. Okay, so that's about it. Hopefully you got some value out of this.